first of all, that show is so well written. It's ridiculous. Um, you know, I would be on sets of other sitcoms getting my next 30 Rock script and be laughing out loud and everyone's just looking at me like, <laughs> so funny. And, uh, you know, the cast was a, this awesome motley crew of like seasoned veteran actors and improv comedians and people that Tina had worked with. I mean, Scott, she, Ansett, she was like one of her partners at Second City years ago. And um, so true testament to Tina that, she, you know, that day of, and even sitcoms today are, you know, you're, you're putting together a cast of pretty actors that maybe can do some comedic lines. And these were like true comedians. I mean, and, and true to Tina as like a head writer at, at SNL, she wrote for people's voices and she found, she found everybody's sweet spot. You know, she found Jack McBear's sweet spot right away. I mean, the Kenneth stuff was so perfect and so in his wheelhouse and he, you know, delivered every time, but it was written for him, you know, and Tracy, I mean, Tracy Morgan, there's nothing funnier than every episode of 30 Rock when Tracy has a big storyline. And it's, you know, it's a true testament to the writers and to Tina and Robert and just really figuring out that sweet spot for him. You know, and everybody was so six Jane, I mean that that that's that's the penultimate role for Jane. She, it, she just killed it every time. Um, it was. It's very sad that it's gone. As a viewer, I'm so sad when I turn on my TV and it's not there anymore. Um, and as you know, a professional that got to work on it, heartbreaking. You know, it's. Every episode was funny. Every episode delivered. Um, every episode was a treat to do and hard. I mean, that show to try to get it done in five days with all those flashbacks and shot on film, handheld, five minute mags where you had to change all the time. And those flashbacks, you know, a five second flashback, seven second flashback still takes 45 minutes or an hour to do. So it was really a grueling schedule. And, you know, the hardest working person on it was Tina. You had a four-day prep, five-day shoot, but um, if you got it done in five days, you were kind of a hero. I've done it a few times in five days. Um, but uh, it's, it's a very intricate dance. That show is, you know, there's always three storylines going on. Um, you know, it was so much fun to be able to shoot in New York, and we'd shoot on location in New York, and New York is such a great backdrop. Um, so you'd have four days to prep a script. You'd hopefully get it ahead of time. You'd have a table read that week, hopefully like your first day or second day. Obviously toward the end of the season, you would sometimes have a table read Friday night um, or, you know, it depending upon how far behind schedule everybody was. But um, so you'd get a script and they would do some rewrites to it and you'd get pages. But, you know, the bulk of the script, you know what it is. and. Uh, and then you'd spend the week, you know, location scouting, uh, you know, props, uh, art department, costumes, makeup and hair. And then also, you know, I was lucky enough to have such a great relationship with Tina and Robert that I could very easily get in touch with them if I had a thought or an idea or some way to make a scene better, maybe a different way of shooting something to make it funnier, you know, and I could pitch them stuff and sometimes they'd be like, uh-uh. And sometimes they would be like, oh my God, that's a great idea. And that's when you go home feeling like you won the Triple Crown or something, when you could add something to an already hilarious 30 Rock script that made uh, Tina and Robert laugh. That's when you were like, okay, good day. I did this episode, Secret Santa. Um, it was a Christmas episode, I think Tina wrote it. Um, and Jack McBrayer is trying to get everyone to sign up for Secret Santa and they're all afraid of him. And um, I had him coming toward the writer's room like he was Godzilla. And we had Christmas decorations at like little mini planes with elves in it. We did it in slow-mo and had him arrive. So um, I did that and I actually did kind of same kind of joke the last episode uh, with Lutz last lunch. I did all these horror zooms um, when they realized that Lutz got to pick uh, last lunch. Um, a few other things, just little little things here and there that you just you know you, you can add that that make the joke just stand out just a little bit more, just a little funnier.